Agoracom Talks, your weekly go-to source for the best small cap headlines, uh, serving over 65 million investors since 2007. Today, we're doing a special deep dive. We're looking at some really market-moving headlines, cutting through all the noise, you know, getting straight to the key financial and operational breakthroughs you need to know about right now. Absolutely. Think of this as uh, your essential market brief. We're zeroing right in on the actual results. The tangible stuff. Exactly. The financial gains, the drilling intercepts that pop, uh, the product innovations, things that really make you say, okay, I need to look deeper here. It's about the why now, that sense of urgency, almost like breaking news hitting the wire. Precisely. Okay, let's dive in. First up, Dragonfly. It's DPRO. Headline reads, Dragonfly lifts product sales 37% as defense and public safety demand accelerates. I mean, 37% product sales lift, that's big. It really is. We're talking a 37% surge in product sales, hitting $1.9 million. That pushed their overall revenue up 22% to $2.12 million. Okay, solid growth. But what's the story behind the numbers, especially with defense? Well, look at the balance sheet. Their cash jumped significantly. Uh, $22.6 million now. Wow, okay. Yeah, so they're not just growing sales, they're building a war chest, they're positioning themselves, you know, getting ready to scale up and actually deliver on these larger high-value defense contracts. So moving from potential to actual delivery in a hot market. That's the signal, yes. Big demand, and they look ready to meet it. Compelling. Okay, let's pivot. From defense tech to health tech, quantum biopharma, the news. Quantum Biopharma moves closer to phase two multiple sclerosis trial with oral lucid MS manufacturing deal. Sounds potentially oh. huge. Reversing MS disability. It does. The crucial step here is they've signed a manufacturing deal, and critically, it's for an oral form of their drug, lucid MS. That's for the upcoming phase two human trial. An oral form makes a big difference for patients. Huge difference. And you have to remember the preclinical results. The animal studies, mm. um, they actually showed the drug enabled test subjects to recover their ability to walk. Recover their ability to walk. That's incredible. It is. Now, the big question, the hurdle, is can they replicate that efficacy in humans? And specifically with this oral version. Safety, bioavailability. That's the focus for phase two. But if they can, transformative is the word. Absolutely. Okay, moving to advanced material. Yeah. HPQ silicon on the TSXV, symbol HPQ. HPQ, yes. Battery tech. Exactly. Headline, HPQ silicon begins production of next-gen lithium ion cells featuring silicon-based nanotechnology. Okay, translate that for us. How good is that compared to what's out there? It's really good. These capacities are, uh, let's say, at the very high end for cells this size. It means packing a lot more energy into the same space. More power, longer life. Yeah, potentially, yes. And importantly, they also mentioned durability. Both cell types achieve close to 1,000 full charge discharge cycles. That's solid performance. And they have a timeline. They do. First delivery is expected by the end of September 2025. So we're talking about a tangible product hitting the market relatively soon. Big implications for EVs, electronics, you name it. Definitely one to watch. Yeah. Okay. Staying with energy solutions, but shifting to clean tech. Waste Energy Corp, W-A-S-T on the OTCQB. Ah, uh, Waste Energy. Interesting story here. Big news indeed. Waste Energy Corp posts first operating profit, reduces debt, and advances carbon credit technology. A financial turnaround and tech advancement. It's quite the combination. I mean, getting to your first ever operating profit, that's a huge milestone for any company. That happened in Q2 2025. And the other financials. Also strong. Total assets jumped 15-fold. And they're cutting debt over a million dollars. Gone. That really strengthens their foundation. Okay, solid financials. But tell me about this carbon credit tech, patent pending. Yes, and this could be the real uh, the real game changer for them. They're working on automating carbon credit verification yeah. using a mix of tech, IoT sensors, Internet of Things for real-time data collection, then AI to analyze it, verify it, and finally, blockchain for, you know, immutable, transparent record keeping. So tackling the trust and verification issues in the carbon market. Exactly. It's a market that's exploding, but often struggles with, let's say, reliable verification. This tech could bring much needed trust and scalability. Potentially very disruptive. Very interesting. Okay, finally, let's head to the mining sector. Fury Gold Mines, trading as F-U-R-Y on the TSX. Fury Gold, yes, up in Canada. And the headline hits the mark for miners. Fury Gold Mines hits 41.5 meters of 1.23 grams per ton gold in first Sakami drill results, confirms continuity and high-grade potential. 
Break that down for us. How significant is that intercept? It's significant. You're looking at a wide intercept, 41.5 meters, grading 1.23 grams per ton gold. That's a solid number over a good width. And there was a high grade core mentioned. Yes, and that's often key. Within that wider zone, they hit seven meters at 3.15 grams per ton gold. Okay, 3.15 grams. That sounds quite good. It is. You know, generally one gram per ton can be economic for an open pit. So hitting over three grams, even in a smaller section, is very encouraging. It points towards high grade potential within the system. And it confirms continuity. Right. The results suggest the gold mineralization continues. And importantly, they noted these high grade cores seem to be strengthening down plunge. That tells geologists where to look next for potentially even better results. So good start to their drilling at Sakami. A very positive start, yes. Wow, what an incredible deep dive today. We've covered a lot, financial turnarounds, uh, potential medical breakthroughs, next-gen energy, significant gold hits. Indeed, and it really brings up an important question for you, the listener. How will these specific results, these tangible outcomes we talked about? Yeah, the sales jumps, profit milestones, the battery specs, those drill grades. Mm -hmm. Exactly. How will those reshape the landscapes of these industries, you know, in the coming year? That's really your call to action. Time to dig deeper.